Dear members, welcome to a new edition of HT Global News. Following the events marking the 11th anniversary of the Holy Ascension of the True Father, the True Mother, as part of the Vision 2025, recently visited the United States, the nation positioned as the eldest son in the Providence. During her visit, she held major meetings with members of the ACLC clergy and with the second generation youth of the United States. In this special edition of HT Global News, we'll provide a visual recap with a focus on ACLC. After the celebration of the 11th anniversary of the Holy Ascension of the True Father in which family members from all over the world gathered in love and longing, the True Mother went to the United States, the nation in the position of the eldest son. After visiting Hawaii and offering deep devotion, the True Mother then headed to the western part of the United States, specifically Las Vegas. The family of Kwan Jinim, American leaders and several members warmly welcomed the True Mother who was visiting Las Vegas for the first time in three years. She later had lunch with the central leaders and listened to the reports of the lecture tours in 10 American cities by Mr. Kim Jin Chun, director of the Chon Bob Won, and Mr. Shin Dong Woo, deputy director of the First Secretariat. The day after her arrival, the True Mother participated in ACLC special rally titled Raise the Flag, attended by over 100 participants including 33 ACLC clergy members, 32 coordinators and main leaders from the US. On the first day, a prayer condition was held at the Chon Shimon Las Vegas during which the participants offered their sincere prayers to Heavenly Parent. Reverend Kim Jin Chu then gave a lecture on the stature and value of true parents and the completion of the providence. The following day, a special meeting was held in the presence of True Mother. She was warmly welcomed by the applause and cheers of the ACLC clergy. The program began with a toast of victory by Reverend Kim Gi Hoon. President of Chani Won, North America. Pastor T.L. Barrett then welcomed True Mother with a song accompanied by a sweet piano melody. The True Mother testified that the Creator is our Heavenly Parent and urged the clergy to fulfill their mission of properly introducing the Heavenly Parent to the world. I 섭리의 완성을 위한 재림 메시아의 환경권을 만들 수 있는 나라로 선택하셨습니다. 오늘날의 현재 강대국들은 자국의 이익을 우선으로 하여 하나가 될수 없는 그러한 현실입니다. 종교도 마찬가지입니다. 민족도 민족 간의 갈등으로 지금까지 전쟁으로 이어져 내려오고 있습니다. 어떻게 이러한 현실을 놓고 창조주께서 바라시는 지상 천국을 이룰 수 있을까요? 창조주가 바라고 인류가 소원하는 자유로운 평등 평화 통일에 하늘을 모시는 인류 한 가족이 될수 있을까요? 
참부모로 말미암은 새로운 시대, 새 역사 하늘 부모님을 지상에 모실 수 있는 섭리가 천일국이라는 새 역사 시대를 만나 오늘 독생여 참 어머니로서는 더 이상 광야 시대에 헤매고 있는 인류를 선도하는 데 있어서 중심 역할을 해야 할 기독교 성직자가 책임을 할 때이기 때문에 내가 오늘 나서게 된 것입니다. 기독교의 성직자 여러분들은 성직자로서 끝나서는 안 됩니다. 창조주 하늘 부모님의 아들 딸로서 환경권을 넓히며 지상에 참 부모와 함께 하늘 부모님을 모실 수 있는 환경권을 넓혀야 할 때임을 알아야 합니다. 그리하려면 내가 누구인지를 밝혀야 합니다. 하늘의 진실, 창조주의 본질, 예수님의 본질을 밝히고 나 또한 성직자 여러분들의 본질은 참 부모의 아들, 딸임을 밝혀야 합니다. 여러분들은 나의 영적인 자녀가 아닙니다. 나와 함께 숨쉬고 있는 이 때는 여러분과 나의 입장은 부모와 자녀입니다. 여러분들로 말미암아 여러분들이 일하고 있는 교회와 그 환경에서 여러분과 같이 하늘 부모님을 모실 수 있는 참 부모를 모시고 지상 천국 생활을 확정해 나가는 여러분 모두가 되기를 축원합니다. 생각하면 생각할수록 한없이 하늘 부모님 앞에 우리 인류는 불효했습니다. 부모를 몰라보고 부모의 꿈이 나의 꿈이요 나의 소원인 것을 몰랐습니다. 이제 여러분은 중심에 서서 이 나라가 이 미국이 미국만이 잘 사는 나라가 돼서는 안 됩니다. 미국은 세계의 형제들을 품어야 할 책임을 하늘이 축복하셨습니다. 그 축복을 반드시 이루는 미국이 되어야 할 것입니다. 그리하는데 여러분이 앞장서 나가겠습니까? 여러분들은 세상 앞에 자랑하세요. 나는 참 부모가 가장 사랑하는 아들, 딸이다 하고 자랑하세요. 그래야 하늘이 소원하고 인류가 소원하는 전쟁과 갈등이 없는 평화로운 자유로운 하늘 부모님을 모신 인류 한 가족의 세계를 만들어 나가는 여러분 모두가 되기를 축원합니다. Having been renewed by the words of the true mother, the clergy offered heartfelt testimonies to her, expressing their 
I'm so glad that I am your son. I'm no more John the Baptist. I'm your son. We met in 1986. My wife and I went to Korea. In 1988, we went to Korea. We came back and we studied and we studied and we continued to study until we began to be blessed. And then my family began to be blessed. And also my church began to be blessed. And then I began to take over pastorship of a church and we blessed our whole church. Our whole church has been blessed. I'm excited about being part of True Parents and their mission that they have today. True Mother, I'm, I've got your back. I'm supporting you. I'm with you all the way. We believe you're the only begotten daughter of God. I'm going to stand with you as a Christian pastor, and we're going to take America back. I love you dearly. How did we get here? All we wanted to do was live for God. And just over a week ago, you allowed us and blessed us to be able to open a Chion Shimwa on our church campus, representing eight other Chion Shimwa's on the East Coast of the United States of America. And that is because of you. So how did we get there? It was no accident. It was, it was interesting. It was an interesting path. It could have only been, been led by the Holy Spirit. So, True Mother, we are the most beloved children of our Heavenly Parent and of True Mother. And we thank you for allowing us to raise the flag. Archbishop George Stalins, along with clergy representatives, expressed their commitment and determination to the True Mother to lead the way in helping America fulfill its mission. Heavenly Parent, only begotten daughter, beloved of all here, Marie and I pledge our loyalty and witness to Hihoko because you are the holy woman in charge, True Mother. In your mission of true heart, true love, true word, the Rouse family is with you with sincere love and devotion. We love you. True Mother, this is a beautiful day. Yes. It's a wonderful day. Yes. And so am I happy to stand in your presence as you're the only begotten daughter to say how much I thank you, how much I love you, and how much I stand near at this moment with esteem, love from my heart to let you know that I will be with you across the nation to raise these flags as we answer the call today. Under the guidance of Archbishop Stalin, the clergy solemnly pledged before heaven to unite with the True Mother, the only begotten daughter and substantial Holy Spirit, to establish Chanagok, raising high the flag of the Family Federation. All the attending clergy resolved to unite with the True Mother as sons and daughters of the True Parents to expand the Family Federation and to inherit the spirit of Chan Shimwon. They presented a signed flag as an offering to True Mother. All ACLC clergy members have wholeheartedly decided to embark on a new journey with the True Parents to realize the dream of Heavenly Parent. One big universal family united under God, our Heavenly Parent. The True Parents emphasize that all religions must unite centered on the Heavenly Parent. The ACLC clergy members responded to True Mother's heartfelt and loving message, raising high the flag of the Family Federation. We ardently hope that this movement for interreligious harmony spreads worldwide, contributing to the realization of a world free from violence, wars, and a world united under the authority of Heavenly Parent. With these words, we conclude this edition of Asia Global News. Thank you for joining us and may God bless you.